Now at least 60 people have been killed in an attack in northern Burkina Faso. Authorities say about 100 men wearing what looked like military uniforms raided the village of Karma in Yatenga province. No group has claimed responsibility. Nicholas Hack is following developments from Senegal's capital, Dakar. Nicholas, this was a horrific attack by all accounts, but the details still coming into focus as we speak. Tell us what you know. Another vicious attack in the Sahel. Yesterday, just two days ago, there was, it was on the Malian side of the border where civilians were killed, just as people were celebrating the Muslim festivities of Eid. Now on the Burkina, Burkina Faso side of the border that the two countries shared, an attack, a gruesome attack. It started, according to eyewitness, on Thursday at 7.30 in the morning um, when the village of Karma in the Yatenga province next to Uiguya was encircled by men in uniform. So initially, the villagers thought that the men in uniform were there to support them. So they were cheering the fact that these men in uniform had surrounded them. But from 7.30 to 1,500 local time, in the space of eight hours, eyewitnesses say there was sheer violence with these men shooting down men, women, and children. At least half of the village have, has been killed, a village of 400 people, according to eyewitness. Now, according to the prosecutor, only 60 people were killed. But there has been no statement from the uh, military junta in place in Ouagadougou. We're waiting for them to communicate about what has just happened, the latest uh, attack. But it comes on the heels of another attack that happened in that region that was targeting the military there. So some people believe that this may have been a revenge attack, still a lack of clarity. But what's clear is that the violence keeps increasing in that region. Cyril? You know, there was a military coup in Burkina last year, partly based on the premise that the country was losing the fight against armed groups. Is this junta that has taken power in Burkina Faso doing any better? Well, certainly, in the words of the military junta leader, Ibrahim Traore, the young captain, just weeks ago, he said that the government forces had lost about 40 percent of the country. Now, Burkina Faso is roughly the size of the United Kingdom. Imagine if Scotland and Wales were out of the control of London. Well, that's what's happening in Burkina Faso. There's sheer desperation from government forces try to uh, fight off armed groups. And since the French have left when the, the, the military just has severed military cooperation with the French and that the Americans cannot help the uh, military junta because effectively it is not a democratically elected government that's in place. Well, there's a security gap in place. So the uh, the junta are looking at its people, at, at its young people and calling for a mass mobilization. So anyone above the age of 18, men or women, will have to go on the front line. But given the fact that they are losing, they're going from defeat to defeat. There is mounting criticism inside Burkina Faso uh, towards the military junta. Just, uh, just over the weekend, a new civil society group, a coalition group called the United Group for Burkina Faso, said that it was alarmed by the deteriora deteriorating security situation. Two million people are displaced in this country. There is, in every family, a family member that has either been displaced or killed by this uptick of violence. Cyril? Uh, Nicholas Hack reporting from Dakar. Thank you very much.